In this video, I will show you how this student at Andrews Institute went from this. Mother uh, Tadrus to his... To sit... I forgot the word. <laughs> to sit back? Uh, to this. Salam to Qabla Sanatain, Alhamdulillah. Wa ba'da aslamt... أردت أن أتعلم اللغة العربية لكي أفهم القرآن ولكي أفهم السنة ولكي أتعلم الإسلام حين إذن ما ظننت أنني أستطيع أن أتعلم في هذه الطريقة يعني عن بعد كنت أحد منكم ولكن التحقت واستفدت الكثير والحمد لله In 61 weeks I, I don't know how else to put it, but I need you to realize how how crazy this is. There's been people who's been Muslim for I don't know how many years. This brother, he accepts Islam. In two years of him finding the truth, he learns the Arabic language. This is the story of our brother Elias. Say Amin and say Allahumma Barik. In 61 weeks, 14 months, he learned the Arabic language. In 14 months, he unlocked the treasures of wisdom that are digged and buried down and under that surface that you cannot get to unless you learn the Arabic language. Because we all know translations, as well intended they might be, they will never capture the meanings, the true meanings of the original text of the Quran and the Ahadith in the Arabic language. This brother Elias, he was born in the islands of Republican, Dominican Republic, La República Dominicana. And he went ahead and moved to New York. He literally learned the Arabic language without ever visiting an Arab country. To prove to you guys that this is a real story, he's a real student, what we are going to do is we are going to test him live to see at what level he is at right now. All right, so I'll play it and I'll stop every like 10, 15 seconds. You tell me basically no. what the Sheikh said. Sounds good. <laughs> إذا لم يكن لسانه عربيا فإنه لن يدرك طعم القرآن. سبحان الله. جميل. So the Sheikh basically said, uh, if the if the يعني if the tongue of the of the person literally if the tongue of the person is not Arabic يعني if you don't have the understanding of the Arab right um, in in يعني or the or the or the it kind of the Arabic language يعني if you don't know the Arabic language well, then you will never yani, taste the, 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 the sweetness of the Quran, basically, in other words. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's so true. It's so true. It's so true. Allah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> حتى كانوا عربا فصحاء في الكلام. and well he he kind of repeats the same uh, the same concept again that you know mm -hmm. he will not he will not uh, be able to fully understand the Quran if he's not uh, you know understanding of if he doesn't have a, a good understanding of the of the Arabic language um, and he says for this reason the different nations yeah, that were conquered, right, uh, became Arabized, right? Um, and, and, and were Arab-speaking, yeah, and Fus has speaking people, you know, because at the end of the day, this is, this is what, you, you won't be able to understand the Quran and, and take the truth of the Quran if you don't speak that language. Mm -hmm. Al-Bukhari, ma'ana sabu? Yeah. 
Now he asks, like, what he's, he's talking about Abu Khari, um, and he asks his students, what is his, um, any, where does he come from, essentially, in other words, right? Um, like, where, what is his nasab, nasa, right? Is it, where does he trace back to, right? Um, mm -hmm. And so he, they say he's, that he's from, uh, he's Farisi, uh, which is, what, per Persia? F F F F yeah, Persia. Uh, so his, now, nah, so he, so he was not Arab. This is an example of that. Yeah. Subhanallah. So, so, so then following with the uh, Bukhari that he also became Arabized. And yeah, he learned the Arabic language. That's, that's, that's what it means. And uh, similarly, he mentions one of the authors um, uh, from the uh, Arabic uh, dictionaries that we have today. Um, I don't want to butcher his name. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it. Al Qamus, yeah, Al Qamus al No, no, he said Al Fi Al Fizu. I think I have it right here, actually. Al Firuza Badi. Al Firuza Badi. No. Al Firuza Badi. No. So, uh, like, I have here the Al Muhit, uh, but uh, he also was not Arab. And he and he became he learned the Arabic language and he said so uh, because you wouldn't be able to understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa taala without the Arabic language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, so he says, um, and also you won't be able to understand that the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Arabic language became widespread uh, and uh, fl flourished, uh, it flourished exactly during the uh, during that era, uh, and and people were they add me and the not Arab were learning it. Learning it. So that they were able to understand. Don't let this inspiration in this burst of motivation. Wow, that's incredible. Use it in your advantage. If you click off this video now and you just go back to your regular life every day, you're just going to get back on that loop, that loop of procrastination. Keep on procrastinating before something happens and you end up perhaps wanting to learn Arabic if that happens. You need to use this burst of inspiration, this burst of motivation right now to make the first step. That's the hardest step. The hardest step is the first step. But the secret to get ahead is getting started. So use this burst of motivation, this burst of inspiration to go ahead and make the first step. Click the link in the description down below in order for you to start learning the Arabic language with the same process that Elias used, if you really want to learn the Arabic language. And I'm pretty sure that if you're watching until the, this point on the video, you have that little energy inside of you. And you have that little voice in the back of your head telling you, yo, I need to do this. I've been waiting for so long. So listen to that voice. Listen to that voice and thank yourself later.